who is a great candidate for SBRT and who's not so great. And then for HDR, for example, and what you do, who do you love as a candidate and who is not so great? So you can just give some people some general guidelines because I'm finding now, when you talk to someone in California, anywhere in the country, if they're told they need radiation for a while, their friend goes, hey, SBRT, you only need five treatments and you're done. It's the answer to everything with radiation lately. So here's my final question. Who is a good candidate for HBRT right now? Who's a bad candidate? And same thing with uh, HD, um, SBRT and the same thing with HDR. If we can just, if you can just think about that for a moment. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I think it, it, uh, it uh, is a gray answer, however. Um, so when I first started doing radiation therapy uh, back in the 70s, it was cobalt. And wow. once we got the linear accelerators, the cobalts worked just fine for many things, and the linear accelerators did not replace them because there were randomized prospective trials showing the accelerators were better. It's just that they were a newer and better tool. So there's a little bit of that. When something seems to be new and better, sounds better, it sounds newer, people gravitate toward it. You can't really use that as the criteria. Um, having said that, SBRT is a significant technical advance. Your ability to deliver radiation much more accurately with the external machines than we ever were able to do before. So there's a lot of precision. It still suffers from the fact that there is some patient motion and the dose distribution is not exactly the same as with brachytherapy and high dose brachytherapy in particular. So virtually any patient who is a candidate for monotherapy being treated with just the prostate uh, and seminal vesicle areas only could be treated with HDR or with SBRT. I'll tell you that HDR has a much longer and robust uh, track record and robust literature to support it. Uh, a lot of that got ignored over the years and I alluded to in my talk because there are so many external beam doctors and so few brachytherapy specialists I don't even like to say this on national television, but you know, it's a little bit like practicing surgery in a department of medicine. You know, you go to the board meeting and what are you gonna say? Um, but having said that, the studies that are out show SBRT to be a highly effective treatment just as is HDR. How do they compare? We won't know without a randomized prospective trial. We currently have an ongoing or developing a study looking at focal SBRT versus focal HDR. That really won't answer the question, which is one we've been asking for about 15 years now. Hey, how about a trial comparing SBRT and HDR? The reason those two are of interest to be compared is that they both give relatively few large doses. The radiobiology of radiation therapy has been turned on its head. When I first started doing radiation therapy, you had to give all these treatments, one a day for eight weeks, and that was the course, and there were no other choices or you were gonna burn the patient. When I first started giving five gray fractions with HDR, they, they were so afraid I was gonna make a hole in every patient's rectum, but it proved not to be the case because of the radiobiology of the prostate, it actually does better with large fractions than with smaller fractions. And if you distribute the radiation correctly, that is avoid the high dose to the normal tissue and get most of the radiation into the prostate cancer, you will have a good result. So to answer your question is, it's the patient and physician choice, early disease, single therapy, monotherapy with SBRT or HDR for more advanced disease, we still have to think about targeting the other areas of disease with systemic therapy, as well as spot radiating areas of known gross disease and lymph nodes and other site oligometastatic disease. So there is no right answer, but there are certainly strong political overtones. Right now, what I know to be one of the best 
treatments for localized prostate cancer is HDR monotherapy. 